Hi, I'm Wendy Murdoch, and I'm here to give you a quick tip to help you improve your riding. Today we're going to look at thigh contact and the importance of having the flat of the thigh on the saddle. A lot of riders tend to ride with their knee turned out. And what this is doing is it's taking the thigh away from the horse. You wind up with only the back of the thigh, which doesn't give you a lot of security. And more importantly, it's turned your thigh bone or your femur out, which changes the function of your hip. This is going to limit the movement in the hip and block the horse's ability to go forward easily. Other riders tend to pinch their knee, and now what we've done is we've kind of gripped up here in the hip and blocked it, and that's going to restrict the horse's movement. What we're looking for is a hip that's free and open, but with a kindness through the thigh so that we have a lot of surface contact through the entire thigh, decreasing any pressure points in any one place, giving the rider a tremendous amount of stability while creating a channel for the horse to travel through. So what we're looking for is that the flat of the thigh is on the horse, and we'll be able to tell that here with Elizabeth because the seam of her bridge will be aimed towards you. If I take her knee out, it's going to come back toward me, and if she knee pinches, it's going to roll a bit forward. But we're looking for it to be basically in the middle, and that's giving us a lot of contact on the inside of her thigh. I think of it as the feeling of putting on a nice, comfortable glove. Firm, not gripping, and not loose. And that way, Elizabeth will get a lot of information from her horse through her thigh, spread her weight distribution out not only through her seat, but also through the thigh, and make her more stable. In addition to that, it's going to help her hip be in the best place to move freely with the horse's movement. If she takes the knee out, that's going to close this distance here and roll the hip back and that's going to block her ability to follow the horse. And if she knee pinches, it's going to close the front of the hip and again block the horse's movement. We want to give the horse a place to go right through our seat and thigh. So we're looking for that nice, flat, solid place. I'm going to pull on her reins and we're going to look at the differences in the three thigh positions to her overall stability and balance. So that nice, solid position, Elizabeth. And you can see that when I pull on the reins, her thigh gets pulled onto the horse a little bit more. You can see her knee close a little bit and her calf come in contact. That gives her a lot of surface area and a lot of stability. Now turn the knee out a bit. Here with the knee turned out, she's going to have to try and grip with her lower leg and it's blocking her hips so it makes it easy for me to pull her forward out of the saddle. If you're coming up to a jump and you have your knee turned out, you're not going to be nearly as solid as with that flat thigh position. And now if you pinch the knee in, Elizabeth, here with her knee pinched in, She's limited the contact to just the knee area and not given herself the support through the whole thigh. So again, she's less stable. So let's go back to the whole flat of the thigh, Elizabeth. So with the flat of the thigh, you have more surface area contacting the horse. It decreases the pressure on the horse's back because you've distributed your weight over your thigh and your seat. And it makes you much more secure in the saddle and gives the horse a place to go between your two legs. So next time you go out and ride, Pay attention to your thigh position and find out what you do and then experiment a little bit to see if you can improve that so you have the flat of your thigh on the horse and that gives them a place to go.